Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sanjay Raj and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at my new and updated portfolio, the design that I have implemented and all the stuff that I've changed and why I did change those stuff. We're also going to be comparing it with my previous portfolio so you guys get an idea of what has actually changed. And I hope this might be helpful for you guys. There are a couple of things that I've added newly, some skills, some projects, some animations as well. Hope you guys like that. And I hope this might be beneficial for you. If it does end up being beneficial, please leave a like on this video. would really appreciate that. And also leave a comment on this video if you guys have any questions or have any general comments on the video. And also subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. And thank you so much for 1,500 subscribers, guys. Really, really appreciate that. And hope this video will be really helpful and beneficial for you. Also share this video with anyone you think might benefit from these kind of videos. That's pretty much it, guys. And at the end of this video, I'll try to share some tips which might help you improve your portfolio. Maybe you're creating a portfolio from scratch or you're just updating it or you just want to get some general tips and put your own touch to it and improve your portfolio in the new future. It's all up to you. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like as I said. I'll be sharing my screen and we'll go over what are the things that have changed and all the kind of stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the video. As you guys can see, I'll also leave a link to this right down in the description below if you guys just want to check it out. Also test some of the stuff that is working. So just let's get started with the header. So basically in the header I have Navbar and then basically a hero text. Basically this is where I show, you know, say my name, maybe Sanjay Raj, what I do and basically what my just full stack developer and designer. Previously it was front end developer only. And then I have kind of a short about me, which basically says I'm a self-taught developer, I'm from Sri Lanka, what are the stuff that I enjoy to work on, which is both on the front end and the back end. And then I share my YouTube, which is where I have most of my videos and all the stuff that I share about the stuff that I do, the projects and stuff. And more videos are coming up guys, so make sure you guys subscribe for that as well. So that is what I have there. So the nav, if you guys see, it's very, very simple. I've got my name as the logo, Sanjay Raj with, uh, with a minus letter spacing. Uh, so I, I guess that does look kind of good. And also the nav bar, it looks very simple. The nav bar is very, very simple. So if I, uh, these are not separate pages. So if I click on home skills, pro, uh, so home is this particular uh, page, the header section. If I click on skills projects about me, it does not take me to a separate page. I just thought it would be you know much more better if I have all of the stuff in one or one page so it will be easier for the recruit or anyone to navigate and easily see all the stuff that is in the website and also have a view resume button which redirects to my resume obviously if you guys are watching on if you guys just general people watching just to get some tips uh, you guys can also see that resume if you guys do want a video on the resume I don't think it's much uh, I don't have much experience with resume and those kind of stuff but let me know if you guys just do want to see a video on a resume so I've got that button so if, in case people would just have missed my resume in a job posting or job application they could see my resume over here so the main thing that catches your eye is the is the text right here you guys might think I've got some you know mask and like complex animations in CSS it's actually not it's basically uh, an easy thing. Let me just inspect and show it to you guys. So let's spread this out. So this is the text. And if you guys see the styling, it's just the background image that I did. And this is the image that I used. It's, it's on Giphy where you can get a lot of GIFs. So it's, it, it's there as a background. It gives a really, really nice uh, kind of style to the portfolio and all those kind of stuff. And for main links that I have, so stuff like YouTube, I have actually highlighted and had had it as an underline. So all those kind of stuff. You guys can you guys can also have it. So this is the header. So let's go down to the skills section. So if you guys uh, want to just navigate through the skills, you could click on the skills, and it has a smooth scroll. So basically, it does not you know uh, it does not you know go to the skills section pretty fast. It goes very slowly. It has some smooth scrolling added. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to all the stuff that I used uh, to build this project, uh, build this portfolio. The text that, that I actually use is uh, React. I could have used Next.js, but uh, it was already built on top of React. So I just wanted to iterate on that and build a better design. That was my main goal and add the stuff that I wanted to uh, for, for you know applying for jobs. So this is my skills section. 
so it just has a header header section saying take a look at my skills and also this has a gradient to it this is also an image so I just add a class name and then have a background image to this particular text that's pretty much it so let me actually show you how this uh, skill section looked like previously so right now I'll just go to my uh, brother's video that he did on my portfolio you guys can check it out if you guys want to I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well it's an awesome video so this is how my skills section looked previously as you guys can see it does look good but then if you guys see the background image and the skills and I just have it like cards so all the skills are like cards and they have icon in them icons in them so it does not stand out that much from the background so that's what I just wanted to change it looks kind of plain right the drop shadow is also not much visible I do not change the skills the title or the description I just change how it looks so it just has a white background and then all of the icons have changed I've got some colored icons just from Google you could get it anywhere from any website that you guys want and also got the skill name so once I hover over it it just shows like that and also a couple of skills I've added so we also added the back-end front-end skills uh, react types of all this kind of stuff so that is my skill section and then right here this is a new uh, new section in my portfolio that I've added which is my experience I actually worked in an agency here in Sri Lanka which is called cabbage apps it was an awesome experience it was awesome it's an awesome company I worked worked as an associate software engineer there and I mostly I actually use a lot of technologies uh, and also was able to learn a lot there so I had that in my experience so I had my experience I, I think this also looks uh, a little bit much better rather than just having uh, let's say a black drop shadow which is something like this which I have right here I just had a blue low overlay drop shadow I'll leave a link to all the stuff obviously I can't leave a link to the code guys sorry uh, but you guys can take a lot of inspiration from this portfolio or any portfolio that you guys want and create your own portfolio put your own touch to it so these are the technologies that I've used React Data, TypeScript, Material by Storybook, GraphQL Apollo if you guys want any tutorials on this let me know in the comments down below so this is my experience so if I hover over it it has kind of an animation so all of the stuff that I have I've added a little bit of animation if I go to my previous uh, previous uh, website in my video I actually wanted to show you guys my previous website but uh, I could do that from way back machine but then it it did not do any captures uh, previously when I had my portfolio so that didn't work so sorry guys I couldn't show you guys the actual portfolio previously so this is the section where I have all my projects so this is a section I guess might actually stand out to anyone looking at the portfolio I've got a couple of projects here I actually updated the projects that I had previously there were a lot of projects if you guys are just getting started I would really recommend you guys add as much projects as you can which you created uh, on your on your portfolio which would really be helpful uh, so these are some of the additional projects that I created so this is a full stack project this is also a full stack project this is basically a front end one that has some user authentication with Google login this is a back end one and this is a this is a full stack application so you guys kind of see there are full stack applications front end back end and then design uh, design projects if you guys are applying for full stack positions as well I would really recommend but if you guys have any tips as well would really be helpful for me or anyone watching this video just to hear your tips and stuff so make sure to leave down leave it down in the comments uh, so these are the projects that I've created and I share the title of it just a normal title the description of what it does what are the functionalities that it has and the technologies that it use, uses so people kind of see what type of a project it is and all this kind of stuff so I have a link to the live website which is obviously hosted on Netlify and then I also have a link to the github code which I made uh, public and I have a readme uh, I have a image of the project actual project and I have a description I have the link in the website section of github and I have had so added some tags so I have a readme and about and all this kind of stuff you guys could have that as well so this is what my project section has all of these are same so the backend stuff initial back so the backend I have not hosted it on Heroku because I have not got the paid plan I have just got the free plan so if API requests were made it would kind of close 
the Hiroku uh, account for me. So I don't want that to happen. I want it for the videos and all that kind of stuff. So this is my back end GitHub. So as you guys can see, I've got descriptions. What are the functionalities that it has? And also this is open source. If you guys want to contribute, fork this uh, GitHub repo and add your own stuff to it, all stuff, you guys can do it. And also got about about this project and the tags and stuff. So if you guys, you guys can get a lot of context about this project through GitHub, uh, through visiting the GitHub code. So I would really recommend you guys do that as well. For the design, I've got, I've hosted it on Behance, some are on Behance, some are on Dribble. I mean, only, only this one is on Behance. Uh, the Dribble uh, portfolio is because I couldn't because it only accept one page, one shot uh, for the free version. So that's what I'm using. But for Dribble, you could upload, you know, multiple pages and all this kind of stuff. So you guys could have it like this. Just have a better way of uh, displaying it. Uh, this is not the best way. There's a lot of things you guys can just uh, implement and just try out. And this the designs, I've actually hosted it on Dribble. So this app, uh, I've got a description here. If you guys want any work, you guys can reach out. I've got my email here, my Twitter and all this kind of stuff. For designers, you guys can, you guys could have like the image here and then the text here. So those are like primary stuff. You guys want the, the designs to be shown much more better. That is the main theme there. So the Shopify theme and these are some of the projects that I did. And if you guys do like this video as well, please leave a like. If you guys are still watching, thank you so much and leave a like as well. And the last part is, or the before last part is the bot me section. So if I go to the portfolio that I have previously it had a very very long about me as you guys can see it has a very long about me and so as you guys can see I improve the latest spacing so people can read I say I'm a full stack developer I use various technologies I have a YouTube channel I have side projects I do side projects I also like design uh, I just work on you know mock designs and also have some design clients and if you want to contact me, you can send me a mail. So it's kind of on to the topic. So you guys can have it like that as well. But if you guys want, you guys can elaborate your about me. Maybe you have a separate page to show your passion, the projects that you have done and what stuff you're looking to create in the future, all this kind of stuff. You guys could have a separate page if you guys want to. Then in the footer, I've got my name, front end developer and designer. And then also I've got a contact me, which actually takes you to my email so you guys can send me an email through private email as well easily so i've got my social media links here youtube twitter linkedin and github so you guys can people can you know navigate from here itself and then the explore section you guys could go through the website if it's just a simple thing if you guys want you guys can add it and i've got also the resume link here so if you want to see the resume you guys can click on that and see the resume as well Let's also check out the mobile version of this app. It's very responsive, uh, even on a, what's the smallest phone, iPhone X maybe. Yeah, it's also responsive on all uh, all phones. Let's just look at a very, you know, basic example, Pixel 2. So here you guys can take a look at my skills and the grid has, you know, it's only one skill per row. So I've reduced that. All the skills are there and these are my projects all the all the grid columns have aligned it to one per column one per row and the footer is also you know it's uh, it's one below the other let's just try it like this okay so this is where it breaks so you would have two skills in a single row and you also have the experience section and the projects that i had i just added a little bit more padding because the cards looked much more bigger if i didn't add some padding and it, it just took uh, a lot more space that it didn't have to so i just had it like that and if i click on the sidebar as you guys can see it's very basic uh, you you could even say it's a very simple uh, sidebar so i've got all of the links here so if i click on projects it'll close the navbar and then scroll down to the projects so that's what my portfolio does look on a small mobile screen and just some general tips for you guys to build your portfolio initially or just to improve it i would say just keep it um, to the point show all of the projects that you have did all of the skills that you guys have clearly clearly say who you are full stack developer or designer given about about me and if you have a youtube channel 
uh, Twitter profile where you are you are most active like a lot of people on Twitter or a lot of people in the dev community are active on Twitter or you have a hash node blog a dev.2 blog a medium blog or anything please link it on your portfolio it will really be helpful if you guys are on any other social media platform that you guys are famous on based on a developer perspective please link it over here you guys can actually add a separate section just to showcase all of the projects that you guys have so just for example i could have an extra section where i just show some of my popular videos that i have which might actually make the recruiters or anyone seeing the portfolio view my video and that would be one of those things and also have a link to your resume on a portfolio because if, if the people on your portfolio your portfolio could be the only place that a recruiter or anyone might want to get to to view all information about you i'm sure a lot of people who are experienced are watching this video please do leave a comment guys i would really appreciate it hope you guys like this video leave a like if you did i leave a link to the portfolio my brother's video and that's pretty much it guys if you guys have any general questions leave it down in the comments leave a like subscribe to the channel guys and thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video peace